Hello, you are welcome how to find the cube root of a number without making use of a calculator. So we have 9910269739. Now, what we are going to do is we can copy this number out. Let's consider where we have this 26973. So we have 26973. And this simply equals 27,000 minus 27. 27,000 minus 27 will give you just this number we have here, 26973. So we can comfortably replace this number here with 27,000 minus 27. So that means we are going to have something like this. We have 9910269739 equals 9910269739. Twenty-seven thousand minus twenty-seven. So that is the same thing right there. Now the next thing we are going to do is we can simply replace. Now we are dealing with it. We are now working with this now. So we can simply replace these numbers here with zero digits. So we are going to have something like this. Nine nine. Instead of this, we have one, two, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, zero. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we have plus, we can consider this one again. So we have six digits again. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then what again is we can consider 27,000. 27,000, then we have minus 27. So if you add up everything right here, you are definitely going to get this number again. Now, what we are going to do is to express this in standard form. So we are going to have 99 times 10 raised to the power of 7 plus this one is simply we have 10 power 6 plus here is 27 times 10 power 3. Then we have minus 27. Now let's proceed. 99 is simply 100 minus 1. So you can have it as 100 minus 1. And this is times 10 power 7, then we have plus 10 power 6, and we have plus 27 times 10 power 3, then we have minus 27. Let's multiply this out, so this is 10 power 2, this is 10 power 2, so we have 10 power 2 times 10 power 7, then we multiply this by this negative 1, we have minus 10 power 7 then we have plus 10 power 6 plus we have 27 times 10 power 3 then we have minus 27 so we can add the exponent because the basis are the same and we have multiplication sign here so we are going to have 10 power 9 then we have here we can factor out 10 power 6 this is negative 10 power 7 and this is 10 power 6 we can factor out 10 power 6 so we are going to have minus 10 power 6 times here we are going to have 10 power 1 then we have minus 1 plus 27 times 10 power 3 then we have minus 27 so the next thing we are going to do is we can simply have it, remember we have our 10 power 9, then we have minus 10 power 6, this is 10 power 1 minus 1, and this is 9 times 9, then we have plus 27 times 10 power 3, minus 27. 
So this is 10 power 9, we can have it as 10 power 3 or power 3. If you multiply 3 times 3, you have 9 minus this is 10 power 6. So we can have it as, and this is 9. So we can have, this is 3 power 2, then times 10 power 3 or power 2. 3 times 2 is 6 plus this is 27, we have 3 power 3 times 10 power 3, then we have minus 27. So what next are we going to do? Now we have 10 power 3 or power 3. This is 3 power 2, we can have it as minus 3 times 10 power 3 or power 2 times 3. Remember 3 times 3 is 3 power 2 plus this is 3 power 3, we can express it as 3 times 10 power 3 times 3 power 2. This is 3 times 3 power 2, you are having 3 power 3 again. So we haven't changed anything and this is minus 27 is simply 3 power 3. So we proceed. Now at this point, we can say, let A equals 10 power 3 and B equals 3. So we are going to have, so this we are going to have, a power 3 minus this is 3 and this is 3 so 1 will be our b we are going to have 3 a squared times b plus this is 3 times 10 power 3 times 3 power 2 now let this be our b squared and this is our a so we are going to have 3 a b squared and we have minus this is 3 power 3, which is b power 3. So by having it this way, this is where the trick is. We can simply express what we have here as a minus b or power 3. If you expand this, you are going to have exactly what we have written down here. So if that is the case, and remembering that our a is 10 power 3, so we are going to have 10 power 3 minus 3 or raised to the power of 3. Now remember, there was a cube root from our question. So we have something like this. That means if we insert this inside here, we are going to have 10 power 3 minus 3 or power 3. So this cube root here will cancel the cube here. So what we are going to have left is simply 10 power 3 minus 3. And 10 power 3 is simply 1000. We have minus 3. And now the final answer is 997. So this becomes our final answer. So that is it for this video. I believe you enjoyed the class and you have seen the trick that we have used. Please don't forget to subscribe. Share this video to your friends. Thank you. And goodbye.